Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Christine Levine. I worked uh, for 13 years at a porno store in town that rhymes with fantasy. Yes, and I worked graveyard shift there for a long time, and I got into many shenanigans and adventures. We used to play games with the customers, like how long will it take for that dude to pick up the quarter in the cum puddle? Like, <laughs> you know, sometimes we'd scrape drywall out and um, put it in little dime bags and leave it on the ground and see if they'd snort it. <laughs> they did. I always did. So, um, a working graveyard shift, I made friends with uh, police officers. One of the police officers was a kid named Jim that I went to, school, to grade school with out at Metzger Elementary. And he pops in one night just to check on the store and see how things are going and secure the area. And then Officer Jim's there. And I'm like, Jim Richardson, I know you. And then next thing you know, another cop rolls up. And then another cop. And then another cop. And all these police officers are standing at my counter. And they're telling me about how gross their jobs are and how sick everything is. And, I, and they're like, they're bragging. They're bragging about how gross everything is. Like, well, you think your job is gross, Levine. Yeah, well, one time, you know, I, I, I went and was first responded to a car accident. And I lifted up the boy's head to give him CPR. And his brain was gone. On. I know. And I was like, really? I watched a lady eat a turd like it was an apple today. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I win. I win. You're not grosser than me. You don't have a grosser job. I have the grossest job ever. Once I jerked off my coworker and rubbed my dick mitten's hands and his cum all over money and handed it back to the customers. That's a... I got angry sometimes. It was a hard job. Well, so then all these police officers start coming in, and then um, one police officer wouldn't leave me alone. I called him officer shut up because he was just a big dumb frat boy. He was so fucking stupid for a cop. Portland's finest. What an idiot. He, he come in um, uh, regularly. For two years straight he was coming in just to check on me, make sure I was okay. And I would tell him like things. He's like, how are things going on in the store, Christine? I'm like, oh, uh, well, today there was a drug dealer that came in. Like this Mexican guy comes in, you know, with a cowboy hat and a shiny gold tooth and cowboy boots. And he'd just smile at me and he'd use the bathroom. And then, um, and then he'd you know, I don't hear a toilet flush or anything. And then he'd just walk out. And then like a few minutes later, a skinny white dude would come in and I don't know, just, and then use the bathroom and then leave. And so I think there's a drug dealer, I think. So I went and I picked up the Coke one time after the Mexican dude <laughs> showed up and, and the officer, he goes, shut up, shut up. What did you do with the blow? And I was like, I called a friend and he sold it. Shut up! <laughs> what? So I called him officer, shut up. He was so dumb. I told him about like the cruisers and how they'd look up the vents of the rooms and try to get guys to suck them off and how they'd always like, these men were like sharks and they'd go around the halls and you know, and how the cruisers have rules about how to, you know, like you can't wait at the window because it's you're, like you're the widow's watch, you know, you can't wait at the window for the men to come in because that's cheating. Shut up! <laughs> what? They have rules to fuck? Shut up! Why don't they just fuck each other, man? I don't know. Officer, shut up. I don't know. Uh, it's a mystery. I don't know. And um, one time I was, I got super high, and I was trying to help these customers, and I scanned in their dildo, and I was like, that's $14.95. And then officer, shut up, comes in, and he goes, Christine, are you high? Are you stoned? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I'm so high. And he goes, do you have any more weed? And I go, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm high. Why would I have more? <laughs> he was that stupid. And he goes, shut up. You don't have more weed. <laughs> no, shut up. No. And so after two years of Officer Shut Up showing up all the time and being just amazed by everything like a fucking four-year-old, I started, like, the world just dazzled him. Okay, so after that, 
Um, finally, I, I couldn't take it anymore. He was just, I was telling him something about a pee hole gangbang or something like that, and it happens. A pee hole gangbang blew his mind. This lady gets fucked in the pee hole, and then I know. Shut up. No, it happened. And then she sticks a. Then these guys ejaculate in her bladder. Shut up. Yes. And then she put, takes a tube and she sucks it. The cum. See, now this reaction I can get. Off of, shut up! And I said, put your cock in my mouth and make me, dummy. You want me to shut up? Stick your dick in there. And he goes, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, it's on. Let's go. Why are you here? So <laughs> I couldn't get it. So after two years, then finally, um, officer shut up. He, he walks out one day, and my coworker is there. Um, her name was Cheryl, and uh, she's reading a book. She's very into science fiction, you know, and she's reading a book. And I said, Cheryl, I think officer shut up wants to fuck me. And she throws down her book, and she goes, you think so? Really, Einstein? Yes, of course he wants to fuck you. Why do you think he keeps coming in here? Why do you think he keeps talking to you? Of course he wants to fuck you. And I go, that's so weird, because he's frat boy handsome and retarded. Why he'd want to fuck me? We have nothing in common. I'm fat and brilliant. He is stupid and handsome. <laughs> why would we? Why? We want to make a mediocre baby? I don't know why he wants to fuck me. So, so then officer shut up. He comes in again, of course. And uh, this time, I got a plan. Shit's on. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what's going on with this dude. So um, I was married. And I had a situation where, you know, you work so long at a porno store like that, and it gets to, like, where sex is like a handshake. It loses its intimacy. You just don't care about it anymore. I mean, like, I got to be the, the girl at the gangbang just rolling her eyes with the dicks in her mouth going, Tuesday, God damn, this is, uh. I, I just, it just meant, it got to a point where sex was nothing. And um, my husband said, hey, if you want to do it, right on, you know, just come home and tell me about it. So we had kind of an open marriage thing going. And um, I told him, I'm like, there's this big, dumb officer that comes in, and I think I'm going to fuck him. And he's like, just tell me about it when you get home. I said, okay. So, um, so I got permission from my husband. And um, so then uh, Officer Shut Up comes in, and uh, I'm like, hey, why don't you take me out to your cruiser? I want to see the car, police car. And so he's like, okay. <laughs> like, shut up. That's crazy, but okay. <laughs> he takes me out to his cruiser, and he puts his handcuffs on me. I know. <laughs> yeah. And he puts his, puts his handcuffs on me. And then we start running plates of everybody in the thing, you know. And then he finds my car and he goes, you live like a block away from here. Why do you drive? I'm like, I'm fat. Why would I, why would I walk? Anyway, so he finds out where I live and everything. And then he, and then he, um, and then, and, and, then, and then I get a phone call from my husband. So my friend, Cheryl, she brings the phone out and I get it through the window like this. Uh-huh. Hi, honey. Mm-hmm. I'm with Officer Shut Up. Yeah, I'm a little tied up right now. I am. Okay, I'll tell you later. Okay, love you too. Bye. And the phone through the window. Over. And he was like, shut up. That was your husband? Dude, he doesn't care? Really? Shut up. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. How do you do? It's like a handshake. So then we go back inside, and... um. And then uh, he wants to see the Paris Hilton movie, and he's like, um, shut up, this is amazing, oh my God. <laughs> and I put it in for him. We have these little tiny things called little rooms with a very small love seat in them, and they're called preview rooms. And for $10, you can watch an entire film in its entirety. I'm sure it usually doesn't take that long, but if you want to sit in there for 90 minutes and jerk off, Lord help you, go ahead, whatever you want. And you can also probably fit another person in there, but it's very, very small and it gets very, very hot. So I put Officer Shut Up in one of the rooms and turned on the Paris Hilton movie for him. And I was like, just go in there and watch it. It gets really funny, like when she starts crawling away from the dude to answer a phone by her hairstyle, or the phone rings that her hairstyle calls. It's very, very funny. So I'm like, you'll get a kick out of it. And he's like, shut up, I can just go sit in there. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And then... Here's where I think it's odd that all of a sudden I become a lady. 
Now I have standards. I won't go in there. Cheryl says, why aren't you in there? Fucking officer, shut up so he'll leave us alone. Why don't you go in there and do it? And I said, he didn't invite me in. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> I must request this. <laughs> I just will go. Oh. And she just throws her little sci-fi book down and she goes, you have to go in there. He's got to stop coming in here. He drives me nuts. If you just fuck him, you know he'll leave us alone. Just get in there. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go fuck him. Okay, fine. So I go down the hall, I knock on the door. Officer, shut up, it's Christine. Oh, okay, okay. And I, he, you know, I, I come in there and we're watching the Paris Hilton movie and it's hot in a tiny, tiny room with a, like an a industrial, I don't know, it's like a little pattern, like tile floor, you know, to hose it out, you know, shit gets weak. It's gross. I know. And there's a blanket over the thing. It's gross. I know. But, and it stinks like, like semen and, and chlorine a little and used condoms in the garbage. But, I bite my nails and work at the porno store. I'm not a germaphobe. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's not like I really care, but I'm just painting the picture. It was really tight and very small and itty bitty space. And I'm a big lady and he's a big dumb guy. Anyway, um, so then I can't remember. Something happened. Something sparked it. But man, once it sparked, we just started crawling all over each other like animals, like, like maggots, just all twisty and weird. I, you know, just, it's, and, 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 you know, and then, you know, just started taking off his, like, bah, button his shirt, and, and then I kept hitting his, like, little button, you know, here, that calls his dispatcher, so the dispatcher would call and say, officer, blah, blah, whatever, so dispatcher, and, and he's like, oh, no, sorry, I'm at 64th and Barber, lying, totally lying about where he's at, and then finally he just rips it out, like, fuck it, I don't need to go to make a call, I'm not on nothing. <laughs> And he rips it out, so I quit hitting it. And then the Kevlar vest comes off, and he's gorgeous. And I'm just a fat porn clerk. I don't get it, but okay. So he wants to see me naked. And, and then, oh, yeah, and then one time I, like, jump on him, and I, and I, and I straddle him, and I hear my, ne my um, knee jammed into something. And I go, oh, my God, ow. And he goes, oh, sorry, that's my gun. And I was like, you're goddamn right it was. That was so hot. <laughs> I was like... Fuck yeah! Your gun! He could have killed me. This, I could have been murdered by the dumbest police officer in Portland. Anyway, so. We fuck for like almost two hours just i know i know officer shut up tore my shit up oh my god i was so dumb i couldn't do math afterwards i was dumb i was as dumb as he was i was just amazed by everything the world was a miracle <laughs> i know just uh, sweaty just gross and I said to him, I said, hey, officer, shut up. Um, since you know where I live, um, why don't I ask you, where do you live? Um, just because, I mean, I think it's fair, you know, and I kind of wanted to see if he thought I was crazy. And um, I am, but I just, whatever. Uh, but I just, I really just wanted to know, like, if we're neighbors or I don't know, like, why does he hang out here? What's going on? A little bit more about him, I guess. And um, I told him, I, and then he said that he lived in Lake Oswego. And I said, oh, okay. Um, well, that's kind of close where I live. So I tell you what, um, if I see you at the store, I'm not going to say hi to you. We're just going to go about our merry way now. Okay. So we're done. And uh, yeah. And he said, no, that's okay. My wife knows that I have a, um, a friend that I visit up here at the porno store sometimes that I know somebody up here. And I said, what? What? <laughs> Sister's name <laughs> Mom's name <laughs> That it? Oh my God. Oh my God. Prom queen? Prom queen 1989? <laughs> High school? <laughs> and, 
<laughs> and he goes, and he sits down as he's putting on his Kevlar vest, and he says, Christine, I think you're very funny, but I don't appreciate you fucking with me right now. Now, that pissed me off. Why the fuck would I fuck with him? I just listed off his wife's sister and mother's name. Why am I fucking with him? I'm not fucking with him. He was fucking, I was just crazy. I go, what? You think I'm fucking with you? You fucking dummy. Are you kidding me? You are here fucking a fat porn clerk. And he goes, how do you know my wife? I said, we grew up together. We grew up together. I grew up with your goddamn wife. <laughs> By the way, how's the baby? <laughs> and he was so sober I mean he was scared he just turned white as a sheet and he was I was angry though like who the fuck I said she's beautiful she's Irish and Japanese and I said what the fuck is your problem she's gorgeous why are you here fucking the fat porn clerk what is the matter with you and he goes I don't know I just liked you and you seemed fun and nice and I go I am neither one of those goddamn things you are so stupid and I said, I swear to fucking God. He goes, oh, no, I've never done this before. And I said, I don't give a fuck if you've ever done it before. But for fuck's sake, if I ever see you at my store, I will tell everybody, everybody, including I will absolutely narc you off. What's she going to do? Stop talking to me? I don't care. I said, I will tell everybody that's not nailed down what kind of person you are. And he hurried up and he got dressed. And he said, I swear to God, I'll never do this again. I'll never cheat on my wife again. And I said, no, you fucking better not. If I ever hear about it, if I ever even catch you, ever catch you, I will kill you. And then, and then he left and he hurried up and I took a moment because I was uh, shocked and upset. And then, um, so a little bit later, I, I walked out of the room and um, the, my coworker, Cheryl, she goes, what the fuck happened? Officer shut up, just ran out of here like his ass was on fire. And I said, well, I just fucked my friend's husband on accident, on accident. And I explained to her what happened. And anyway, I, I think what happened to me in that moment was that I used to think that fucking um, other people's mates isn't that big of a deal because, I mean, it's just sex, right? And if they're fucking me, they're just, I mean, they're going to be fucking somebody, but at least I'm going to make them wear a condom or I'm going to be smart about it. I'm not going to ruin their lives. I'm not interested in hurting them or whatever. You know, so I'm the best option, I guess, is kind of what I felt like. I always felt like, well, they're going to fuck somebody, so why not this whole? But now I feel like I am a party to that. I did it on accident. I didn't even mean to. And I could have ruined a whole entire family just by being careless and not finding. Anyway, so now I just make sure everyone's got a clean pedigree before they touch me. <laughs> and I no longer fuck married men. <laughs> I'm into girls now. <laughs>